Here we have an HP Spectre X360 that came in for no power. Big Boss tested this laptop before he gave me the board and he said the amp meter is reading 20 volts at 0 amps on both ports. So both ports are able to negotiate with the board and the voltage is 20 volts but amperage being drawn is 0. 0 is not good. So what I want to do is quick physical inspection on the board. We're going to do quick measurements and see if we can figure this out. We know that the USB-C ports are good because the amp meter is reading 20 volts. Both of them are good. And usually USB-C ports do not fail on this model. This is the 15 inch model, the brownish color. So let's move to the left. We see the Thunderbolt 3 controller, this big chip here. We're going to quickly measure capacitors around this chip to make sure we do not have a short anywhere on this chip. Meter in diode mode, red probe on ground. And let's test here. No short, no short. And look at that. We have a short here. And the short is linked directly to that chip. I mean, this chip takes a lot of abuse. So it's one of the things that can fail on this laptop. Okay, I mean one capacitor is enough to tell us that there's something wrong with this chip. We do not need to test any further. But before I desolder the chip, I'm going to desolder the capacitor and see if that's what's causing the problem. Because it's a lot of work to replace that chip, so let's start with the capacitor. Let's test one more time. I would be surprised if the short was coming from that capacitor. Because that's never the case. See? We still have a short. We're going to put that capacitor back. Now we're going to remove that chip. And the chip is too big for the microscope. We need to use a barrel lens so we can see the whole thing. The barrel lens allows the microscope to move up higher and it gives you more view of the board. So let's take a look now. Look at this. Now we are able to see the whole chip. But we do lose that quality of light because the light is further away from the board now and quality of the light will degrade because it's further away from the board. The closer the light is to the board, the better the light quality. Same thing in photography. If you are depending on the sun as a source of light, you're going to have shadows all over your face. But the closer the light is to your face, the better the light quality. Of course, you need to diffuse that light so the light is soft and not harsh. But I think that's enough for today, giving you lessons in photography. Pin number one is on the bottom, and we can tell by this white dot on the board. I mean, this is a big chip, a lot of pads under it. Look at this. It's like a CPU. This chip is like a CPU. Right, so I think we should be good.
I just want to make sure I go over all those solder balls. Nice and gentle. And we have a lot of those chips in stock. It comes in a box like this, like it's a piece of diamond. The chips are not cheap also. We should have at least a couple of them in this box. And we have four pieces. Pin number one is on the bottom right. Hopefully this will solve our problem. But one thing we forgot to do is test to see if we still have a short on that capacitor. I mean, imagine we still have a short on that capacitor. Then we did all that work for nothing. Let me remove that chip. And... What? Uh, we still have a short. I'm short. Maybe we have a bad capacitor as well. We still have a short. Hmm. So what do we do? Right now what we're going to do is we're going to inject voltage on this line. We're going to be using the mechanic voltage injection tool that you see here. I have the injection tool set at 1.8 volts or 1.9 volts. Black probe on ground. I'm going to connect it to one of the connectors here. Okay. And we're going to inject voltage right here or on any one of the three pads that you see here. So let's go ahead and do it here. And let's see what readings we get. The board is drawing 0.7 amps. Now, is 0.7 amps enough for us to see the short under a thermal cam? Let's find out. Okay, so we're going to turn the thermal camera on. And we're going to see if 0.7 amps being drawn by the board is enough for the thermal cam to detect what component is short into ground. Whatever component gets hot on the board is likely the component that is causing the short. And let's inject voltage we're going to inject 1.8 volts on that capacitor and we'll see what gets hot okay so i'm injecting oh look at that something is getting hot here all the way on left side of the board something is getting hot here right there cpu i knew it i knew it cpu is getting hot All right, let's try this one more time. One, two, three. Look at that. That's exactly the center of the CPU. This is the area that's getting hot. So the CPU is what's causing that line to short to ground. It's game over. So we're gonna call it off. The board is a no fix, unfortunately, due to CPU short. It's neither practical nor economical to replace a CPU on a laptop motherboard. It takes a lot of time and it's not guaranteed that the CPU will fix the problem. I do not put myself in that rabbit hole where we have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and end up with a device that's not fixed. Anytime we have a CPU or GPU problem, we let the customer know that the device is deemed a no fix. We invoice the customer for the repair attempt to compensate for some of the time spent working on this device plus return shipping. If the customer does not want that device, then we keep it for parts and possibly use it to fix other devices. So that's it. Time to go home. I'm honestly out of gas and uh, I just want to go home and relax. In case you are wondering, the voltage injection tool that we used is by Mechanic. You can purchase this off our website. We currently have it out of stock, but we are expecting a shipment 
in the next few days. We do have other voltage injection tools that you can buy, some of which support higher voltages. And you can also browse through all the tools that we use in the shop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.